nobody does anything as you know there is no doer so everything manifests on its own it is very well known i think i do nothing at all it is your play because you are me so ultimately it is so puzzling for the intellect that we drop down at practical levels and we like you know everything cleanly boxed oh he did this he made this program he learned it from here and then i'm learning from him this video was like this and it is hardly like this in the illusion intellect cannot grasp it what is happening as soon as i say there is no doer there is no place for the intellect to go and understand anything the understanding is dropped the calculations are dropped and you suddenly feel as if you know there is no place to stand there is nothing remain to think it can be a very good experience sometimes that you are lost the intellect is lost its boxes are gone <laughs> its clean relations everything was so neat and clean all garbage now pile of garbage is left so the illusion is very puzzling if you try to understand what it really is and if you try to make it into a model or systematize it then the intellect is very happy yeah actually this thing is used by motivational speakers and even your mbas and people they like everything in boxes clean boxes so there was somebody who told this trick that if you write a paragraph to describe whatever you want to say people don't pay attention in just a block of text so what do you do number 1 this number 2 this arrow pointing to that you see like flow chart like number 1 2 3 4 points like this and now people pay attention now it is more systematic now it is i mean not systematic it is more arranged more boxed so intellect has this habit of making everything neat and clean but the illusion is not like this the illusion is total confusion total chaos yes so i i don't uh, you know <laughs> claim to do anything but then people don't understand they need to know who do, who did this some people need to see the face who, who is behind this thing they judge from the face because that is what their intellect demands if i don't see the face of the person i'm not going to trust this thing so it is very amazing that the old scriptures will were written by nameless faceless people and they are the most accurate and the new books are written by you know well known names and there is a photo printed on the back cover of the page with a bio biography chapter in the beginning who wrote this preface and all and there is garbage in between <laughs> so yes egolessness brings the pure knowledge as soon as you put your name there it is me it is mine now it loses this purity therefore you see we have a tradition to destroy the name of the person first the ego 50% gone as soon as you remove the name the name holds a lot then then there are traditions that destroy the face of the person by which i don't mean they destroy but they change it you need to wear some kind of clothes and so on that is because the ego has a lot of investment in these things so it we do whatever is needed you see they, they are not from the path of knowledge obviously other traditions so they rely we rely on knowledge for the reduction of the ego but they rely on not only on knowledge they rely on many things like if there is full moon they take advantage of that also if there is a mountain nearby where somebody is meditated they take advantage of that also to reduce the ego and so on so if shaving of my head is going to lower the ego yes i'll do it if removing my shoes you know yes i'll do it they are desperate that is what i call a true seeker like hardcore and they they take pleasure in it they have done this since many lifetimes actually some people are attracted to these people from the childhood the monks are walking begging they are going back to their huts and this child is watching and he is thinking i want to become this what is so attractive in that why don't you become a millionaire get a ferrari big palace somewhere your own island no <laughs> he is thinking 
ఐ వాంట్ టు బికమ్ లైక్ దిస్ సో లాట్ ఆఫ్ పాస్ లైఫ్ ఇంప్రెషన్స్ దేర్ సో ఐ వాజ్ లైక్ దిస్ యాక్చువల్లీ హైలీ అట్రాక్టివ్ దీస్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ హైలీ అట్రాక్టివ్ ఫార్ మీ ఫర్ సమ్ రీజన్ ద క్రేజియస్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ మోస్ట్ అట్రాక్టివ్ బట్ నా ఆన్ ద పాత్ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఇట్ సీమ్స్ లైక్ రిడెండెంట్ దేర్ ఆర్ మోర్ ఎలిగెంట్ వేస్ టు రిడ్యూస్ ద ఈగో దెన్ దెన్ టు లీవరేజ్ ద ఫుల్ మూన్ అండ్ సీ కోస్ట్ అండ్ హిమాలయాస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ దే డూ హెల్ప్ సమ్ టైమ్స్ ద బెస్ట్ వే ఇస్ టు రిమెయిన్ అవేర్ దట్ దేర్ ఈస్ నో డూ అర్ then only that which is um, necessary happens like he said so what was necessary reduction of ignorance from the world that is what happened <laughs> as soon as there were conditions it was manifested i i can see these conditions in many people they are going to go there automatically so the identity or the individual is your biggest hurdle actually it is rightly said that you are standing on your way to progress you are blocking your own way to progress that day when we met you know in our offline satsang i i told this very important incident where one of my gurus told me that you have a lot of ego and i could not understand this thing but uh, that one thing made a lot of impact and finally i understood that this thing is the major hur- hurdle in our progress individuality the individual does not like it at all when you say this so we need to dance around it what do i tell you you need to progress very good progress you are doing it right you are good at it this is what fueling the individual only <laughs> it is just pampering the ego only but as but i i have no other option you see if i start saying look there is no you don't take credit of your progress i always say no you wrote such a beautiful article you captured it very nicely the ego is fueled by that but <laughs> if i start telling you that look you are not writing it it is all happening there is no you there is slight insecurity there and then you will drop the program <laughs> no credit is given so it it it, it thinks that i am achieving nothing so as long as there is program going we keep the individual up okay come up here but then we slowly destroy it i don't know how people will react to this thing but yes um, all we do on the path of knowledge is a lot of destruction and jay is asking does that better to surrender him probably you are asking is asking is it better to surrender say on the other paths it is best to surrender to guru on the path of knowledge you surrender everything except your intellect you will never find this instruction anywhere else this is very peculiar to our group our system here never surrender the intellect And why is that because these days 90% gurus are fake you need to use your intellect to find out who is fake who is not so surrender everything except your intelligence and is it going to be harmful for me no the guru wants you to be intelligent actually the guru wants you to have critical thinking abilities and uh, discretion discrimination and if you surrender your intelligence also the guru is going to beat you like hell the guru is going to put you under many tests to check whether you have you are using your intelligence or simply obeying like a donkey and if you keep obeying feet licking behavior now be ready for the punishments guru will check at every step whether you are understanding it you are, is it becoming your knowledge or you are simply parroting the guru that must be checked so never surrender the intellect the guru on the path of knowledge the guru will never like it you can surrender your body you can surrender your money or whatever you have your know, property and all and the guru will never take it <laughs> he wants you to give it up but nobody will take it only the attachment is the problem isn't it not your money not your body your attachment is the problem it is a, it is a very deep subject so you ajay brought it up but you say it is possible to write at least three books on surrender only what happens here how how different kind of people surrender different differently for example men and women they surrender differently is a very deep topic to what extent people surrender to the guru 
as long as he is talking about the favorite deity as long as the guru is talking from his favorite book you see the scripture yes i surrender to the guru as soon as he says something which is true now nah, this guru is not good enough he is a fake guru uh, may you know some people just simply pretend to surrender they never surrender so the guru checks it you know. just today i heard a story from somebody you know one guru told his student who said guru ji i love you so much i'll do everything for you <laughs> he gave him a cup of dark liquid he said okay okay drink this poison it's fine and and the student was actually surprisingly really surrendered he drank it and everybody was kind of shocked now what my number is also coming now i am in the queue <laughs> what happened was nothing happened to that fellow who drank the poison because it it was not poison it was coca cola <laughs> that is poison only isn't it <laughs> but no immediate effect so test test only sometimes i ask you to surrender but i don't really want you to surrender be independent guys be independent but i want to check whether you will become independent or not whether you will be able to fly or not so i need to test the wings and you are given something to do I, i'm giving you you know i'm giving people such a simple things you know correct your language correct your spelling put the full stop after the sentence they don't do even that so this is the level of surrender we need to face and in <laughs> in such a situation i am already seeing miracles even without surrender the miracles are happening because this path of knowledge is it does not demand total surrender you need to simply follow the minimal instructions and it is good now check the other paths you see check the other paths there there are trials and tests and all. we only have one test and people are afraid of it many people don't uh, get in in the program because you know, there is a test there <laughs> some people get into the program and after writing they come to know there is a test because you see who reads the instruction who reads the manual these days you see simply jump so then they leave it those who appear in test it is a real thing then then they become the real disciples it is so simple isn't it i made it so simple because i know the life is going to test you anyhow so those who surrender they progress very very fast those who don't they will progress also but they will need to listen to a lot of you know, they will need to drink the poison the poison of the bitter words jay is saying how how much should one meditate to become a master in upcoming time i can't understand your question upcoming time means what future and uh, master means what master of what what do you want to master tell me you want to become a guru then what will you do after becoming guru drag out some others from the net of foolishness like you're doing sir your intentions are very good and you will be successful i have no doubts but uh, they can learn meditation from any anywhere you know they can watch a video they can read a book why do they need you then just like you you are meditating to become a master they will all they can also do that why do why do people need you then especially the foolish people you are trying to join a career where there is no payment and there is no work <laughs> there is no company nobody wants this gurus they can learn to meditate on their own jay singh now these people need to spoon feed information including me okay no problem you make a video where you spoon feed the information you are the guru there is no need to meditate for years and if you can bring out even one fool out of their net you will get a nobel prize i think many people are already spoon feeding the information many thousands of people they are spoon feeding how to meditate how to be successful how to be attractive how to be healthy you can also join that effort if you want it looks like that you already know how to meditate you only want to know how much i need to meditate isn't it so try i think few minutes per day and next week you can produce the video it will benefit the whole world and uh, after that week you can come and tell me how how successful it was i also want to know at least i think one or two million will be will be benefited easily okay you will get three tomatoes from me three tomatoes anybody else 
want some expert advice on becoming a guru param ji this saying you don't become a guru by self you are given the duty of guru now the world has changed isn't it why spirituality is more mysterious it's not more mysterious it's totally mysterious as soon as i say that nothing can be known only your ignorance can be removed only that which you think i know can be removed completely then what is remaining mystery only nothing can be known if in spiritual field somebody says i know something you should start laughing because he is ignorant fool nobody knows here anything <laughs> it's all mysterious why why does it seem like mysterious because the intellect is habitually addicted to knowing while there is nothing to know in emptiness so it's a mystery for it how come there is i don't know anything well the problem is there is nothing to know there but it wants an answer and so it seems mysterious thing i want to know but i cannot know and on the path of knowledge we simply surrender yes there is nothing to know peace bliss i am then no no more mysterious <laughs> no more mysterious you see it's like take a tomato hmm? red color now your intellect is hab- let us say habitual of seeing only the blue objects not the red now it is going to ask why no tomato is blue why they are so mysterious we'll never find out why they are not blue isn't it so <laughs> it is like there is nothing to know in the emptiness and the intellect is wondering why i cannot find out anything about it remember nothing to find out its nature is pure its nature has nothing in it it's totally empty and what is there to find out all the possibilities so you can find out everything I can you call it knowledge when everything is possible is it knowledge you say it is day time i say it is night time it is knowledge isn't it when there is both day and night and everything in between evening morning and all hours are at the same time what will be the knowledge there all possibilities so see that in the experiencer there is nothing to know it's pure being in experience everything is at one time it's all chaos of all kinds in finite possibilities and so nothing to know nothing is true and nothing is false also nature of existence is not knowing simply being when you try to use your intellect to know you will find that it is mysterious and if you like it yes it is mysterious for me nothing it is simply pure emptiness nothing mysterious about it why it is mysterious because because you assumed lot of stories about it now you wonder why these are not true whatever i have assumed is not true why find out why <laughs>